Hi again. Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're on lesson 287. I want to ask our family something. Yeah, what are you, you going to ask? You see us every day. You've seen us every day for 10 months, roughly, in the dream of time. Are you are you tired of us yet? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're in their minds, this. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> no. Actually, should we tell them now? You'll <laughs> never be able to get rid of us. <laughs> We're together for eternity. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about that? Wow. Oh. You are in me and I am in you. And that is the way it is. So. And we are in God. And we are together in him. Yes. That's the best news ever. <laughs> Unless sure you don't is. want it to be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So where are we? Uh, which lesson today? The... 287. And Nook's going to read it for us. Okay. Lesson 287. Uh, you are my goal, my father. Only you. It's worth breathing into, really, really feeling this deeply. You are my goal, my father, only you. Where would I go but heaven? What could be a substitute for happiness? What gift could I prefer before the peace of God? What treasure would I seek and find and keep that can compare with my identity? And would I rather live with fear than love? You are my goal, my father. What but you could I desire to have? What way but that which leads to you could I desire to walk? And what except the memory of you could signify to me the end of dreams and futile substitutions for the truth? You are my only goal. Your son would be as you created him. What way but this could I expect to recognize myself and be at one with my identity? Beautiful. Yeah. You are my goal, my father, only you. You are my only goal. Wow. We'd be in heaven. We'd be aware of being in heaven mm -hmm. if we really wanted just right. him. So, the, so that shows that really the only thing... I mean, this lesson brings up for us to ask is where am I still thinking that there's anything else but God that I want? If I'm seeking anything but the memory of God, then I'm still believing that the ego, somehow there's value in the ego. Mm -hmm. And... To judge that would be to continue as mythical me. So our role at this point is to simply look with Holy Spirit at where we're all in agreement. Yeah, I'm on a spiritual path and I, I want God and I want to awaken and ask Holy Spirit to show, or perhaps it's obvious where it says, I want God 
and I want this as well. And again, to notice the and this as well, withdrawing all judgment from it, because it's only arising in an ego thought system. It's not happening in God, but asking to look at it and be with radical honesty. What is it that you think that that's giving you that God would not? There's some belief in our thought still operating that says, but in God, I would be deprived of fill in the blank, right? Look at that with Holy Spirit, you know, bring that light to it and ask him to reveal to you the fraud or the deceit or the lie in that belief. Because there is one, we're being duped somehow. And when we see it, we're willingly forgiving it. Mm -hmm. So we know that God is our goal. We know that there's only one plan of salvation through this forgiveness. What are we, what are we keeping outside of forgiveness and Holy Spirit's corrective arm? What are we still protecting? And it's okay. It's so beautiful to be this far along and say, yeah, well, there's some areas on the fringes that I'm still afraid to hand over, but why? Mm. Yeah. To make God our only goal. Mm. Like you said, we'd be experiencing heaven right now if he was our only goal. So what is it that we would add to it? Okay. What's the seduction, really? It is a seduction. It is. Isn't it? Uh -huh. And it's interesting to see, um, and something that I've seen extremely clearly this last 12 months, in the phase of unlearning that I'm in presently, is that every single thing that I want apart from God as a substitute for God is really a form of fear. Yeah. Because it's a form of guilt. Right. And, you know, to see it so clearly um, has, has uh, propelled <laughs> me to change my mind drastically. Yeah, that's key to see that those things in the dream that we still hold as a plus sign in the gap really has fear underlying it. And therefore, while we're afraid of something, we, we've made it real, which places the guilt in our mind. That's what we need to see with Holy Spirit. Because right here in this first, he says, you know, what, what, uh, what substitute or what gift or what treasure would I rather have and keep, right? And he says, and would I rather live with fear than love? So he's saying that our substitutes, our treasures, all those things that we think are somehow a positive in the dream of separation are actually fear-based. And that's what we want to see. Because once that's exposed, right? Once we realize that we're using this in some form of attack, like I shared yesterday, I had to wind it back to the rage underneath the doer. It's not obvious at first why doing and rage would be related or have a direct connection. But following it back with Holy Spirit, he will show you how it's being used by the ego and that it's connected to that um, ring of fear, which is the foundation of the ego thought system. There's some serious heavy um, negativity, you know, calls it murder and rage and revenge and fury. These are Jesus's words to describe the thought system that we are moving from, you know, that gave rise to mythical me and all that it's doing and thinking. So once you see the grossness in that, now you're motivated. I don't want this. It's not what I thought it was. Yeah. Beautiful. What so, blog do you have for him, sis? I, would you believe I didn't put a blog on this one? <laughs> uh, I thought okay. it was about where's the missing half of our mind or? No, that'll be, I think that's going to be tomorrow's lesson. Okay. I think so. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. We have something. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And so this one was 
Lesson 287, you are my goal, my father, only you. Emphasis on only. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, sis. Thank you. See you tomorrow.